uh, now we also have view and then layout you can able to open layout when open layout like you are available with many things for example cost analysis baseline versus current mm -hmm. okay and also like uh, by default classic schedule layout critical path logic view for example critical path logic view and then applying see now you can able to see that layout see mm -hmm. okay now again i'm just going to classic uh, schedule layout so this is what we have in layout uh, we can also save the layout and we can also save layout as mm -hmm. save in the sense it will save directly save as means we can put to some other name yeah Okay, so in that case, what you can do means you can uh, take uh, like uh, some columns. So you can take whatever columns you want and you can able to save the layout and you can able to reuse this layout for the uh, upcoming projects also. Mm -hmm. okay. And we also have show on top. See in top, we have table in the left side, Gantt chart on right side. Okay. And uh, we also have a show on bottom, these options, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Even you can able to put the Gantt chart on show on bottom, but uh, whatever you want, you can put it. Okay. No bottom layout means it will like remove everything. Okay, like this it will be. Otherwise, if I am putting uh, like... Uh, details. Uh, details. Details, it will come. Okay, by default, it is like, uh, it is good. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you are going for show on bottom damn chart, see the same here also it is showing. So that's why details could be better. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we also have bars now. These things we yeah. see how to change the color and how to have the shapes. Yeah. Everything. Uh, time scale, you know how to like have these things from here. Mm -hmm this one yeah it's, yeah yeah and progress line you know like uh, we have yeah. a progress line when you're clicking that view and then a progress line you will mm -hmm. be available where, where the project uh, uh, you can zoom out see the progress line here yeah okay that you can also use from here mm -hmm. and we also have status bar see status bar in the sense the bar over here see data date baseline admin if you remove <clears> it <throat> it will go yeah okay and also we have toolbars so we what are all the toolbars we have project assign edit layout enterprise printout mm -hmm. uh if i am putting like a, a report See, we are also available with the report toolbar here. Yeah. Okay, like this, we can able to go for toolbars also. Otherwise, if you don't uh, need anything, you can remove also. For example, report not needed, you can remove. Mm -hmm. Now you also have a, a time scale filter and grouping and sorting we also seen, right? Yeah. So progress, progress line, attachment. Uh, here you can able to put some cut pain if you want. See, for example, due to Corona, we are not uh, operating for some months, right? Mm -hmm. So in that case, yeah. you can put a uh, cut pain and you can able to start, put the start date and the end date. For example, okay. here in 2011. It's like a, it's like a pause. Uh, for example, here I'm just uh, having 2011. But it is not related with any like any like uh, it is it won't do anything for our project just for a, a viewing purpose. Mm -hmm. And I'm just selecting from January, for example. Some, and then I'm just going for. Um, March 31st mm -hmm. and it is like uh, selecting this also right and you can put the color and pattern you want mm -hmm. you can able to see that here mm -hmm. 
just for viewing purpose it won't do anything for our scheduling it won't affect our schedule yeah that is called curtain um see and also if you want some text you can also put text text i am putting and then click mm -hmm. okay view and then attachment and text this is for the font okay that's for the font right the way the text is available ah uh, i see here the text is available mm -hmm. so view and then attachment text so what you can do you can select some other color so we can able to differentiate for purple covid pandemic see mm -hmm. you can able to see that can you move it one minute ah in that case we can also move it yeah okay we have something here also that that only we have created that just like it. even this also we can able to move see mm -hmm. if you don't want you can able to it is only for that purpose in that case yeah <clears throat> so line numbers we have na uh, left uh, you can able to put mm. numbers if you want yeah like similar to excel otherwise not needed it makes it easier for you to track yeah line number mm. maybe in that case you can switch on it yeah and even for the table font and row see here we have some uh, uh, font right you can able to modify the font whatever you want for mm. example bold and oblique i am putting when i'm applying everything will change yeah okay otherwise i'm going for standard standard could be better for whatever you want you can click okay mm. okay so hint help you you know na yes, i know told you yeah and also stay yeah. there and then zoom zoom in zoom out expand all yeah. collapse all this no you you can go for collapse all so everything mm. will be collapsed expand all toolbars if you want to reset all toolbars you can reset all toolbars also mm -hmm. oh if you want to lock some toolbar see because you can able to move for example you can able to move this toolbar right yeah if you want to lock it you can make it lock and we can't able to move it further yeah mm -hmm. so these are small things and we also have new horizontal tab group new vertical tab group for example when i'm putting new horizontal tab group See, we have this kind of things. Then I am just going for a vertical tab group. So this is similar to a new vertical tab group. See, we have another uh, group here. Mm. So we can able to see uh, both simultaneously. We have yeah. here and also the activities here. Mm. so merge all tab groups it will merge again okay